hi, Fox. I'm just doing some work for the Department of Agriculture and Biosystems Engineering at Iowa State. They're having me check on the wetland to see how it's doing as a filter. Oh, sure. That makes sense. Wait, what's a filter? I'll show you. Have you ever seen one of these before? Oh, a hat. Sure, I've seen hats. What a nice hat. Actually, Fox, it's not and a... And it looks about the right size for me. Can I try it on? Fox, it's... Please? Fox, I'm sorry to tell you this, but people don't actually wear this as a hat. Oh, come on. It looks like a hat. It smells like a hat. And it feels like a hat. Just this once, please? Oh, all right. Amazing. How do I look? Well? Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Now, what were you saying? People don't use this as a hat? That's right. Ha! Some people wouldn't know fashion if it came up to them in the woods and barked at them. So, how do people use it? Well, they call it a coffee filter. Can I take it off and show you? Hmm, okay. Okay. All right. This is actually something people use when they make coffee. See, what they do is they put their coffee grounds in the filter, they pour hot water over top of it, the water moves through the filter, but the filter holds onto the coffee grounds because we don't want that getting into our coffee and making it all icky. Wetlands are kind of similar. Oh, Nathan, that's a good one. You and Anne say some pretty crazy things, but you're never going to convince me that the wetland is actually a big coffee maker. Well, that's not quite what I meant. I brought this out to show you how it filters out coffee grounds. Think about how when the coffee flows, the grounds stay behind. Here in a wetland, something pretty similar happens. What do you mean? I mean that wetlands can filter things too. See, when water comes through a wetland, it has to slow down because it has all the plants and spongy soils to get through. Sure, I guess that makes sense. When the water slows down in a wetland, the dirt from the water sinks to the bottom because of gravity. So by the time the water reaches our river, it's been filtered, it's clean. Wow, that's so cool. I know. And other things in the water can get filtered as well. Sometimes chemicals can get into our water from fields and towns, and the wetlands can trap them before they can do any damage to the rivers. Wetland plants and bacteria can actually recycle out some of those chemicals. Wow, that does sound like a helpful filter. Yeah, wetlands are incredibly valuable, even more valuable than treasure and jewels. Nathan? Yes? Speaking of treasure, I'd sure treasure that hat. Can I wear it for the rest of the day? <laughs> sure. Here you go. Yay! <laughs>